right guys, we're back. We got a package here from UPS. I assume it's the cluster because this is from United Radio. I'm gonna open it up. I'm always impressed with their packaging. So let's have a look at this and then we will install it, uh, verify that our problem doesn't exist, uh, which I hope it doesn't. We'll have a look at their product and then I thought maybe we could give them a call to find out exactly what they did to repair it. Oh, that's that dirty cut. There we go, you always get like a, a free little pillow. You take a nap when you're all done. But pretty impressive packaging, I'm not gonna lie. They always do a fantastic job, in my opinion. I can see, get a couple free pieces of foam, and that's always good. Pull this up. Got all the paperwork here, set that to the side. There's our cluster. Oh, it looks like they uh, yanked all the old stickers off. I remember we sent this thing in and had all the junk air rating on it and stuff, but uh, yeah, they got their sticker on it now. Uh, maybe it's their serial number for this cluster. Got rated to C+. <laughs> Actually, I think that was already on there. And it's got the uh, sticky over it. Uh, it's obviously still our front cover, because remember how this was broke when we sent it in, so it's still the same front cover, but... Uh, obviously nice and clean, so I don't know if they get polished or what the story is, but uh, let's go ahead and put it in, verify our uh, fix, we'll give them a buzz. <clears throat> All right. So get this little guy slid back in here. Let's see how did. See, it shows what I know. Stuck in this one, didn't we? Give it the classic reach around is what you need to do. It's a very classic automotive move. There's many applications. So there we go, it's in. Got our four screws right here in the center console. And of course I grabbed the wrong size nut driver. So I'll get the right size. We'll get this job finished. Whoa, easy. Blinkered on everything else here. Shivvies are just like Legos, baby. Let's have a look at this little guy. Looks like we got a lot of lights there. Here's all of our gauges are functioning. Chevy Thunder right there. There's our mileage. Just kind of fiddle with it here. Got our trip and all that stuff is still there. Let's see if the segments on our print will work. That all seems to work just fine with our dimmer. That works on each end of the spectrum. Do a quick 
quick key on check. Alright, fantastic. So now we got the cluster in. I'll just let it sit for a couple minutes, even though this thing really seemed to time out pretty quickly on the module. I think what we can do is we can call our guy who worked on it, talk to the actual guy who worked on it, see what he says about the repair, if he can give us any insight as to what he did. And one option they did when they uh, when they called me is they actually have, as I drop all the paperwork, uh, with these GM clusters, you can get their upgrade, their LED dash light upgrade service, super bright LED bulbs, with the color options of royal blue, green, blue lagoon, red, or white. Uh, and they give a lifetime warranty on those LEDs, so pretty neat. The 03 to 06 clusters, they offer that little upgrade, so if you're getting yours fixed and you want to do the LED upgrade, I would suggest just calling United Radio uh, to find out more information. Don't take my word for it. I do not work for them, nor do I promote them. But uh, there's their phone number. I think that last digit is a 4, yeah, 0944. Uh, so you can give them a call, ask them about their LED upgrade. Uh, yeah, and I believe, yeah, lifetime warranty does not cover liquid damage, customer abuse, attempted repairs, act of God, or cosmetic issues. So, sounds like, you know, your typical, uh, typical warranty. But yeah, check that out. This one, we did not go with the LED upgrade. We just went with the regular flat rate repair. So, let's grab our phone and give these guys a jingle. I always like our self made auto phone calls. For calling in I radio, my director call. Uh, can I have extension 3139, please? Yes, one moment. Thanks. Ronald speaking, how can I help you? Hey, this is Eric at Self Main Auto in Avoca. Hi. How are you? Good. Hey, I spoke with Barbara earlier and she said that I could call you direct to ask you some questions. Sure. Uh, you repaired an instrument cluster for us for a, a 03 Chevy pickup. Okay. If I give you the uh, repair uh, number or the invoice number, can you tell me specifically what you what you did to the cluster by any chance? Sure I can. Let uh, me get to my computer. Okay. Number uh, I've got an invoice number. Yeah, that will work too. Let's see. Uh, all right, what's that? It's a four two nine zero six five. And what we did to it? These are pretty much. Uh, go through and remand these. I know on the invoice they always put replace lamps and motors, which they do do. Um, but they also, uh, there's a bunch of resistors in there that have to be, they get intermittent, so they have to resolder them. And there's silver migration on the back of the board. They have to clean that off. Okay. Would... So, would, would anything on the on the repair have uh, caused an intermittent parasitic draw of about 200 milliamps? That that uh, silver migration usually takes care of that. Oh, okay, and and how how is that repaired? And what is that exactly? The silver migration is caused by um, the no lead solder that the manufacturers lose use, and it just it's kind of like a corrosion and it grows and uh, we use like a special acid or something to clean that off. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. But, you know. yeah just, just kind of curious about that because that's what we were getting with this and we traced it back to the instrument cluster which, which we have done in, in other cases too and I just send them in, I get them repaired and haven't had a problem since but I was kind of curious as to you know what the actual process was that you do there when you remanufactured these. Yeah, that that's uh, with the draw. It's usually the the silver migration that causes that. Oh, okay, I see. And uh, if you pop the back of the 
cluster, the pack of the cluster apart, you can usually see it. It's like little black spots on the board. Oh, okay. It must become conductive. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Okay. All right. Well, that's what we want to know, Ron. Appreciate it. Thanks for taking your time to talk to us. No, no problem. Okay. Take care now. Yep. Bye. Bye. So that's it. Silver migration from leadless solder, which we don't have. We still use the good old made in Mexico lead tin rosin core solder here, but evidently this leadless solder that manufacturers use caused silver migration. The silver doesn't like it, and says, I'm out of here. And it becomes conductive with other parts and, and uh, giving us this intermittent parasitic draw. Uh, I've diagnosed these problems before, always found the cluster to be at fault on this body style Chevy or this vintage. Uh, so it's no surprise to me, but honestly, I've never called to ask them what they did. You get a slip that says, clean circuit board, solder, resistor to replace motors and lamp, flat rate, parts in service. Uh, so evidently they just give it a flat rate repair regardless of the problem. And that's that. So I guess we can just check real quick to see if we have a draw. I don't suspect that we will. Uh, if we did, this would be a sweet video, but I'm pretty sure we won't. <laughs> I went to put Zero, 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 zero amps. We have very little or no draw. Let's make sure we actually have connection here. There's the key on. Turned off to retain accessory power. Now we're drawing about uh, 15 amps there. Headlights are on. Headlights just turned off. We're down to about uh, 4.8 something, 4.83. Our meter here is good at zero. We're back to our 2.15 amps. I gotta get that phone. Oh. So here we are at uh, well 0 0.005 negative, so it must be a little calibration error here. What's it? Reset it so you get down to that low amp rate, it's kind of relevant, anyways. But uh, I was only on the phone for about a minute there, so 0, 0.00 amps. So that's that's that. Yeah, that's a fix. Now, of course, we were having you know an intermittent problem, so uh, but I'm very confident, you know, I've done enough of these to know that that's that's the deal, that's the issue. I can uh, confidently give it back to my customer and know it's fixed. And just like the fellow there at United Radio says, you know, that silver migration, you know, it's like a, sounds like some crap that goes across the back of the board and migrates and grows and has to become conductive, otherwise it's not going to cause a draw, so evidently it'll short across a circuit of some sort. That's not good. That's bad news, Mr. Jones. So we'll leave it at that. That's our fix. I'm happy if you're happy. Hopefully this guy's happy. Get his old Chevy back. He ain't gonna have to jump start it every day. So that'll be that'll be good. And that's that, folks. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope we learned a little something. Uh, I wish it was broke, broke when it came in. It wasn't an intermittent, so we could have, you know, 100% proof, but. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm quite confident. Uh, you know, I give it, uh, give it my satisfaction guarantee for whatever that's worth. And uh, that's that. So thanks for watching. Facebook, Google Plus, check us out there. Subscribe to our channel. 
if you want to be awesome, well, that's, uh, that's really not true. Uh, but subscribe to our channel if you want to stay up to date with the uh, latest publications we roll out uh, almost each and every week as time allows. And uh, you know, if we get good material in that I think is worth uh, you know, photographing or whatever you want to call it, videoing, whatever. So thanks for watching. And just remember, viewers, if I can do it, you can do it.